you have stuff on that you're sharing? Yeah, go share something. Okay, and and, and Aunt David also has stuff, so. Okay. Where, where is it the stuff? You got a USB or something? No. No, it's, no, on, my it's computer. on his computer. Oh, okay. But I can get on Zoom and then I can just share my screen at the appropriate moment. Sure. And, uh, Perfect. So you want to start the, the what you want to share? What are you going to share about that? Well, I want to talk a bit about who the three kings were and stuff like that. Okay. Okay, do that. I also have some stuff about. It looks like Miguel has a lot of stuff too. So no, but we, we, we're fine, you know. Yeah. We can adjust them. Yeah, Miguel has some very important information about food that I. I... <laughs> yeah, I know all well, the food. We... Oh my gosh, y'all. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, then guys, you know what, Laura? Mm -hmm. that, was, that was controlling on the church computer. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, I just didn't know it would. It would. Uh, if, that if I changed to gallery view, it would. Oh, mark, I was it would that was, I forget that it's the computer in here. But you see that now? Yeah, that's yeah. Okay, cool. I don't see it. You, it's only the way you see. That computer just controls what's showing on the, on the screen. Up above you guys, I have no control over that. Oh. Okay. I could, you know, tell. I could ma force. Uh, Miguel to stop sharing a screen and that would change what you guys view, but whether you guys view gallery or speaker is all on your settings. You want me to uh, come in now from, hey, would you share to? You can talk all you want. I can just come in if-, if uh... let, let, let me show you when I'm gonna, uh, uh, so sure, maybe we can escape some you guess it yeah it's very nice did you see that yeah and i have to couple videos and like a testimony or they they um they only share it this uh, what is the tradition from his perspective yeah you know? that's fine that's good yeah. Look at this. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. There's one video that is going to be Oh, little videos. Oh, yeah. A couple of videos, yeah, because they weren't able to come here, but they're going to share. Um, Good. No, you do yours, and it's a few places where I can maybe chime in. We'll see. Sure. It was, but let's do yours, and then um, I can add some stuff Perfect. when you're done. Please. Uh, mm -hmm. Did some nice things there. Very nice work. Beautiful job. Okay. I'm a big fan of all this stuff. So, yeah, it's such a fan of Yeah, we know about it. Yeah. All right, I'm going to make sure we've got our Zoom going here. Okay. Yeah, it looks like we're Hi. Hi. Oh. Ready. Are you all set? Are you all set? Yep. We are, except that, uh, uh, David, you're on sound, so we're going to, we're getting that duplicate. Oh, no, you're oh. muted yourself. Yeah, I'm muted. Never mind. I know, they're going to share with you your screen. See, that's your screen. Yeah, screen. Yeah. Gracias. Todo bien. Gracias. You said we we have uh, two presentations, so we decide which ones we're going to use. All right. Well. Yeah. That's fine. Um, oh, that's I will. Um, I'm going to uh, just get rid of this. I'll be back. In a minute. Not okay. rid of it. Get rid of it. That sounds. I don't know. That doesn't sound very holy. I'm saying. Here we are. Let, let, let me see your screen again. Uh, probably yeah. we can uh, we can start with the uh, um, and they can. Uh, it, it's a two ways in the top or in the bottle with the see the, the screen. Yeah, let me see here. Oh, here we go. Mm -hmm. um, 
can't tell you there's two ways. <laughs> well, if I've got now, it's this. okay. This in here in the bottom. Oh, there's got this. Yeah, I'm, not the thing will play. This could this. I'm going to presentation. Make me. Okay, this is. What is this about? Well, it's just reminders. It has okay. nothing to do with anything. But they're not going to show us. But, but this is from here. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> Beautiful. Let's just scoot up next to you a little bit here. Mm -hmm. Hello, morning. How are you? Good. It's so good to see you. So good to see you. Happy New Year. I haven't come in a while. I know. I know. All it's days good. to come. It's, it's good. It's good. <laughs> oh, yeah. I mean, come to church. church. I went to eight o'clock and signed in Jackson. I said I'll just hang out here. Oh, okay. But I just feel alone. Yeah. I'm not going to see that guy. He has a lot of good stuff. Okay. Okay. So we have two good presentations. We have enough probably for <laughs> for, for a couple couple weeks. <laughs> oh, that's couple great. Weeks, yeah. So anyway, well, did, how were your ice skates this morning? Uh, I was you a need bit, them. A little nervous out there. You need I, ice skates. It's really bad. Hopefully, the you know the sun is hopefully going to help. I hope. It, you yeah. know, yeah. Sun's all yeah. helping. No, but there was. The road they're okay. Yeah. But the sidewalks and the, the driveway, sidewalks and the driveway yeah. they are bad. <laughs> I know that we put some salt down and that yeah. seems to have helped. Like when yeah. I when I drove in this morning, I was like, oh my gosh. and then I walked and I thought, okay, it's not so bad because there yeah. was some salt. Yeah, the salt makes a big difference. But um would you want um one of our kings has dropped out for the 1030 service? Would you want to be <laughs> one of the magi? Sure, what does that involve? Why am I saying sure before I ask what? I think I should mean, what does that involve <laughs> before I say sure? <laughs> processing in uh -huh. the, the, one of the opening verses. It's one of the, one of the magi. Okay. You sing. That's it. Okay. And I don't know which one you'll be, two, three, or four. Jennifer Dorn and Andrew Dorn are going to be two. Okay. One and or two or three, and then you could be one. Okay. Michael was going to do it this morning, Terrell, but he's not feeling well. Michael, who? Terrell Lease. Oh yeah, yeah. So he um he had to um uh, withdraw. Okay. From the opportunity. Oh. Okay, <laughs> I don't know that my singing voice is. <clears throat> Great, but I, well, I'll do it. I like it because we're going to have two women magi and one female, uh, one male. There you go. That hymn was written by an Episcopal priest. I think I've heard that. No, yeah. I, I, I was reading something down. Some said, some said that there was more than three kings. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. Oh, no, they were probably a dozen. The line from yeah, movie, we don't know something that they were. Oh, right. Yeah, that's funny. Right down by but the they just name. mentioned the Bible it presence. It's yeah, right. That's it's, it's 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 three. But now that uh, physical. Yeah. Did the call when you get the little doll there? Little piece. No? No? Muñeco? Muñeco? No. Monito, muñeco. No, muñeca. Es una. This is the real. This is muñeca. And the little doll. No, no. Imbra. Yeah. Female. Yeah. You know, female David? Jesus. Well, <laughs> what, do you, what do you think? Was Jesus being born a male an accident of history? Well, I don't think it means that God is male or that males no. are no. more godly or anything like that. But no. I do think he actually had a winner. Yep. We, we had a conversation <laughs> last Thursday about that. I yeah. Said, you know, and uh, we just mentioned. Uh, we, we we know the woman's they are who created right mm -hmm. light and God has created a light too uh-huh so mm -hmm. you know what is the that's the gender yep so yeah yeah I don't yeah I I think 
I think it was even before I did like gender studies. I was I didn't have a problem with referring to the first or the third person mm -hmm. as female or in, in gender in female gender terms. I think it, I don't think a good argument can be made for the second person after the incarnation. Well, I think if you really, you know, if you have an orthodox view of Jesus being God and human, mm -hmm. we happen to know that his human form Given the baby you know, Jesus was male. Small piece. Right. Come right. On. Yeah. Give the baby Jesus in this mouth piece. Maybe, maybe. If that's where I'm it is. You, yeah. Sideways. Wherever it is. Yeah. Yeah. Well, the thing is, you know, if God was going to become incarnate, right? I mean, there was going to be a gender mm -hmm. uh, of some kind, right? I mean, I mean, I guess it could have been genderless, mm -hmm. but that's not really. That would have stood out. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I don't think that would have. <laughs> we're not. Definitely um, not. Yeah. I mean, part of that era, right? Yeah, that may have not been as powerful in that time. <laughs> and it, and we say he humbled himself, right? So uh -huh. becoming a really humbling yourself as being male. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he would. Yeah, exalted. you've never been a woman. Just don't no, even go there. Right. I mean, he exalted <laughs> himself by becoming a woman. Oh, right? there, there you go. But um, <laughs> so, what what happened if he got this created the woman first and the man? Oh, in terms of creation? Mm -hmm. I mean, that, that's intention is to That's an interesting, out. yeah. Well, I, I, the way I look at it now is that the man was the first draft and the woman was <laughs> the, <laughs> the improved yeah. project. The improved, so yeah, let's, let's, perfection, uh, right? <laughs> yeah, we roll this thing in. in. Right, <laughs> yeah. The three kings. There you go. Uh, here's the prayer for uh, College for Epiphany. So let me lead us in this prayer. O oh God, by the leading of a star, you manifested your only son to the peoples of the earth. Lead us, who know you now by faith, to your presence, where we may see your glory face to face through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. 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 So I'm going to just show a couple slides. Miguel has better stuff, so we'll... <laughs> no, no, we're going to just accomplish it. <laughs> Here's some questions, though, just to think about. Uh, a lot of us don't think a great deal about the three kings, but it turns out there's a lot of stuff to think about. Um, first of all, is. who were they? You got one. I got one. Hey! Got one. So you, depending on the custom, you're either a king for a day, <laughs> you have to go out and buy the cake for the next year, uh -huh. Uh, or you don't have any chores for today. Okay, yeah. All uh, right. The, the one of course you have to make tamales. Tamales, <laughs> yeah. Oh, the mm -hmm. tamales, that's right. Or candelaria. February 2nd. <laughs> yes. uh, what are magi? And did you know the word magic comes from magi? How about yeah, that? Yeah, uh -huh. Why are they thought of as kings? So uh, the passage actually doesn't say, the passage of Matthew does not mention that they're kings. Why do we think they're kings? How many were there? Now we're going to be singing We Three Kings, but we don't actually know how many. We know there are at least three, but that's all we know for sure. We'll get to some of these questions, I'm sure. Did, do we know their names? No. Casper. Did, did we give Balthazar. them names? Malthazar. Yes. Malthazar. <laughs> yeah, there, there are no they're names in, in the Matthew passage, but they, are, they do have names. Although um, in different branches of Eastern Christianity, they've got different names. So. Yeah. And uh, where did they go after they left Jesus and Mary? They visited Jesus and Mary. Uh, Joseph wasn't there. <clears throat> they took off. And then what did they do? And there, this is where legends have grown up, where um, they went and evangelized Asia and other places, but we don't know. Um, Epiphany and Roscoe de Reyes, the, the cake. Um, what is Epiphany? What does it have to do with a cake? <laughs> That's a fairly <laughs> quick answer. We know what we'll talk about Epiphany. It's a celebration, and celebrations have cakes. So there you go. You should always have a cake at a celebration. Happy Epiphany. Uh, it's the end of the Christmas season, uh, according to our tradition. Uh, some traditions of Christianity are a little different, but uh, the 12 days of Christmas are over, sadly, and our tree is still up. <laughs> so there you go. Yep. Uh, this is the beginning of Epiphany Tide. Uh, and how long is that? Well, could be four weeks, could be nine weeks. Uh, could, it depends. 
on when Easter is because right. it's uh, it goes uh, from January 6th through the day before Ash Wednesday. That'll be a pivotal time. So that, that again depends on each. Yes, sir. And is it the modern Roman calendar that has just that doesn't do a pivot tide and then it does like just a sliver of ordinary time? Is mm -hmm. that how that works? Yeah, like, like 20 days. Okay. Yeah, I'm not sure. Uh, how, uh, I think that the Roman Catholics call it ordinary time. Yeah. 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 And the color becomes green. Yeah. Between now uh, and the beginning of to be, Ash Wednesday, yeah. it, the yeah. color changes. Right. Mm -hmm. yeah. But because it's green, some people say it's ordinary time. We sure. call it, I think, Episcopians call it the season of Epiphany. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Christ, of course, becomes incarnate on the Feast of the Nativity, as we all know. And then he's manifested to those outside of the Jewish community on Epiphany. And I'm sure many other ways. But um, And the point here is that Christ comes not just to save the Jews, although he is very firm about the fact but that's his first mission, but also Gentiles. And a number of Gentiles appear to him in the Gospels uh, for various things. The Roman centurion is a famous one. Jesus says in John 12, 32, when I'm lifted up from the earth, I will draw all people to myself, not just the Jews. Um, the Magi, these are scholars, uh, possibly from Persia, and they were uh, astronomers and astrologers because astrology was thought of not as, you know, horoscopes particularly, but as another way of understanding the, the universe. They only appear in this gospel. There's nothing about them in the other three gospels. Hmm. Uh, and again, the word magic is based on magi. And this is a picture of some magi, um, not necessarily ours, but the, what we're talking about, but they are magi. So do I get to wear one of those outfits if I'm one of them? Yes, there are some costumes. And no, believe, you don't. If you walk, I asked Gina to put them in the choir room as you turn to the right. Oh, well, seriously, There's I'm just, wearing a costume? If you'd yep. like to put on something. You <laughs> carry one of the presents. And, and we have gold, frankincense, and mirth. So whichever verse you end up being assigned to Take carry the, the gold, it will dash out. Oh, right. <laughs> right. It, it's real gold. Thanks oh, to Joe it, Catone. It's yeah. heavy. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 It's heavy. Though. Yeah. Gold is yeah. heavy. And I'll just do this slide, then we'll... we'll uh, We'll turn it over to Miguel, who has some wonderful material. Uh, but Matthew 2 is where we learn about these magi. They came from the east. Mm -hmm. So somewhere east of, um, of Jerusalem and Bethlehem to worship the king of the Jews. And they're led by a star as they journey from the east to seek this king. Uh, they visit Jesus and his mother, not at the manger, but sometime after his birth at a house. Mm -hmm. Um, before the Holy Family have to um, become refugees into Egypt. They arrive at the house, uh, Joseph isn't there, and they offer the gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. I meant to show this quickly, two slides for fun. Um, so how many Magi were there? Matthew doesn't say. Uh, we, the Western churches have believed, and Western art depicts three Magi. I like this picture. This is kind of a cool one. Uh, in the churches of the East, it's thought that there were 12. What are their names? Scripture doesn't say, but we call them, as you know, Melchior, Caspar, mm -hmm. and Balthazar. And Caspar is often depicted black. Mm -hmm. I like the color, but they, they yeah. mentioned they are from Asia, from mm -hmm. Europe, and uh, from Africa. Yeah. Oh, yes. yeah. Mm -hmm. And that one with their headdresses, it's on like three different offices. Like kind of militant. Yeah, or like a yeah. military kind of priestly yeah. and um, probably like prophetic, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. In Persia, the Magi were priests of Zoroastrianism, and I may be the mm -hmm. only person you know who can tell you anything about Zoroastrianism. <laughs> I can now. Oh, good. <laughs> um, these are the gifts, of course, gold, frankincense, mm -hmm. and myrrh. They're typically depicted kneeling. Um, this cartoon shows that unbeknownst to most theologians, there was a fourth wise man who was turned away from bringing fruitcake. Yep. <laughs> Thanks to Joyce for that cartoon. <laughs> Thank you. <Helen. laughs> and why are they thought of as kings? Because uh, it was believed they fulfilled prophecies mm. in Isaiah and uh, Psalm about kings bringing gifts to um, sure. 
the, the son of man. I, I really wanted to just show you that picture. <laughs> oh, look at that guy. Oh, <laughs> now that was an actual photograph taken. That's an actual <laughs> photograph taken of Herod. Yep. You can see how malevolent he is. Right. <laughs> Um, oh my gosh. They visit King Herod, of course, and um, but he's very interested because they're looking for the king of the Jews. And of course, because what I like about that King Herod is that even though there's the superficial meanness, there's goodness there. There is oh, goodness. There, it's, it's, I well, know. Well, uh, you know, he, he bears a certain resemblance to St. Nicholas. Yeah, yeah <laughs> that's right. kind of it's interesting. How that beard was white. And, um, that is me, by the way, for anybody watching. Uh, that's uh, I model for King Herod for the advent. So we're going to have a yeah. Herod too today. We're going to have one of Herod. Herod? Herod? Yeah. Um, have well, a... we should have a Herod chasing after the <laughs> right. <laughs> do you want to do that? <laughs> no. Now you know yeah, scholars uh, aren't necessarily known for street smarts, <laughs> but these these three guys, or however many there were. Uh, kind of got the, the sense that maybe Herod wasn't to be trusted. And so after they visited Jesus, they didn't go back through where they would run into him. They avoided him after that. But Herod, as you know, then alarmed by what they told him, ordered the uh, massacre of the holy innocents, all the boys born in, in Bethlehem at that time. And there's just a nice uh, artistic depiction mm -hmm. of the magi uh the one in red is kneeling uh by the way the magi are also considered saints they've been considered saints forever huh. for a very long time in the christian yeah. but we call it mexico santo reyes, oh, santo reyes. reyes. Yes. okay oh, okay that's really all i need to say right now so let me stop sharing and let miguel share okay okay Thank you, David. This is interesting. This, oh, so we got in here, just follow what uh, David shared, a different perspective for Latino America. And, uh, <laughs> but we know this, this is something that happened in many places in the world. Okay. Now it's not exclusive to the Latin America. And uh, um, okay, this is pretty much uh, David described. But in America, you know, they formerly the feast of the Epiphany, Dia de los Reyes, and uh, commemorate the visit of the three kids and the magic of baby Jesus. They were representing the Christ's physical revelation for the Gentiles mm -hmm. and the celebration that particularly occurred in Latin America. Mm -hmm. So the, the arrival of the natural Gaspar and Balthazar that we call like that to the magic of the basement and uh, to the Mexican home is a day awaited by the Mexican children who are the morning of the January 6th, usually making an open illusion to have fun and play with the gifts uh, that they treat with and waste men brought them in the night before. So normally they get a, a toys mm -hmm. as a present. So it's, they're, they're lucky because the um, in the present time, now they get a present from Christmas that uh, happened before. Okay, right. <laughs> so Santa Claus is a person now and then also they're waiting for them, uh, 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 for the three kings. And, uh, and some uh, uh, um, companies like the Toys R Us take advance the best because uh -huh. they, they have an, uh, uh, well, not right now, but they've been passed. They have an, uh, uh, commercials in the, in the in Latina uh, broadcasting from Toys R Us, oh, the chicken, sure. and take a product in the sell okay. more toys. Okay, yeah. <laughs> the giraffes, yeah. the rest is yeah. Things. Oh, yeah. yeah. You get the sale prices because it's after Christmas. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's all good. Thing. But although these days also represent the joys, since they are able to treat uh, characters so usually celebrate with families and friends gathering and with uh, hot chocolate and drop the traditional rose cutter rays, games and organized. Part of the game is to find out the baby Jesus in there. Yeah. <laughs> okay, the story uh, gave me raised a custom offering and receiving gifts, mainly children who are the uh, three waste men, and the gifts they want to be uh, a letter by letter. Well, they usually said by men's and uh, health uh, early values of which they are delivering mm. one of the facilities mm. that they are placed in public squares and uh, shopping centers. With Mr. Gaspar and Balthazar not only listening to the request of the listen, the little ones, but also taking a photo with them. Oh, yeah. That's so cool. that's cool. all commercial. <laughs> yeah, it's very commercial. <laughs> so this is the process that what happened with little kids and um 
they write the letters, you know, mm -hmm. uh, many, many, many ways. And the post office now, they got an, a, a new box <laughs> <to> the <laughs> post office. Uh, you see that one? In many yep. places, the kids, they can drop in the, the letter to them. So they write oh, their because, letter to the to one of the... the, uh, the or the one of the three the waste mates that they're asking, yes. And some, the, sometimes they have preference. <laughs> sure. <laughs> I, I, when asking preference, because as you see, they represent three different colors of, of the mm -hmm. waste mates. Yeah. So and, and, uh, I think it's pretty good, you know, because the, the yeah. kids, they don't feel like a, a exclusive. They don't they include it to, the, mm -hmm. to anyone. So you see the balloons they sell in the, in the streets. And the kids dropping off to them. So <laughs> what happened next day is they put it on the Christmas tree, and you're gonna hear in the, one of the videos, you know, and the kids they're waiting in the night, you know, exciting. He's supposed to be sleeping, but he's just going out. Yeah, yeah. Night, <laughs> you know, you're gonna get, you're gonna get three people coming down the chimney. <laughs> no, no, no. Usually they came in the um Camels. in the camel, elephant, and yep. in a horse. Okay. That's okay. according to the more the Roman Catholic things of sure. tradition. You know that song though, I saw mommy kissing Balthazar. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I want to show the, uh, this video from uh, Itzel. Let me, I want to put it in the YouTube video uh, that you can. Oh, I did it again. Sorry. This is just... shared. Yes. I must be. Okay. Hola a todos, mi nombre es Itzel Carmona y yo soy miembro de San Marcos, soy oh. parte del servicio. Oh. supposed to be in, in the caption in English. <laughs> I get it ready yesterday, but it didn't happen then. Yeah, once you get... Get out of things, then sometimes the settings change. Okay, this is what happened. Hola a todos, mi nombre es Itzel Carmona y yo soy miembro de San Marcos, soy parte del servicio de la UNA, el servicio en español. Y el motivo de este video es para compartirles de qué manera mi familia y yo celebramos el Día de los Reyes Magos, el día 6 de enero. Yo soy mexicana, entonces la tradición es comprar la, la famosa rosca de reyes, que es un pan que tiene una forma... Eh, ovalada y se acompaña casi siempre por el atole mexicano, chocolate caliente o alguna bebida así caliente. Eh, entonces cada persona, cada miembro de la familia pasa y corta un pedacito del pan para eh, la persona, para al que le toque el, el niño, el, el muñequito, que en este caso representa al niño Dios, eh, va a tener que comprar tamales o cocinarlos el día 2 de febrero, el día de la Candelaria. Que el día de la Candelaria es cuando oficialmente muchas familias ya dan por cerrada la época de fiestas, la época de, de Navidad y todas estas festividades, que es cuando se, se levanta, se quita el nacimiento debajo del árbol, le, se, el niño Dios, se quita el pino de Navidad, y bueno, muchas familias lo hacen así, esperan hasta el 2 de febrero, y otros que lo hacen inmediatamente después de, del 6 de enero, del Día de los Reyes. Es como, como se celebra, como nosotros lo, lo festejamos. Y en el caso de los niños, eh, el día 6 es cuando nos reunimos, bueno, se reúne la familia, y, pero no es algo tan formal, es algo más bien como informal, no es esta cena así fancy, ni no, 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 es más bien como <risa> sure. no solamente, es única y exclusivamente partir la rosca de Reyes y ver a quién es que le sale el niño dios o el, el muñequito. Pero los niños, algo que tradicionalmente eh, nosotros hacemos es que cuando son más niños escriben una cartita como si le escribieran una carta a Santa Claus. Entonces, eh, le escriben la carta a los reyes magos esperando que les traigan pues un regalito y la ponen en un zapato. El por qué, no sé exactamente por qué es en un zapato, pero muchas familias ponen el zapato en la ventana otros lo ponen debajo de la cama, otros lo, lo ponen incluso debajo del, del árbol de Navidad. Y al otro día, eh, los niños se levantan y pues bueno, está ahí el regalito esperándolos. Eh, es lo que se acostumbra, incluso hay familias que no, no regalan grandes cosas el, el día de Navidad, sino más bien esperan hasta, hasta el Día de Reyes para, para hacer los regalos a los niños más que nada. Eh, eso es algo muy, muy de, los, de los niños. Y pues esa es la manera que nosotros 
festejamos este día, es un día bonito, es un día importante para nosotros, para nosotros como mexicanos es, es, es especial y como les digo es cuando ya damos oficialmente por terminada la, la época navideña. Gracias y que pasen buen día. No, but I can put in there. Would you, would you do that? Yes, I would do that. I, I just have to work on the, my account because I, I prefer to be open and to make sure, you know, but we can do it to the. You can put it on the. But we're going to do the presentation, you know, to the to the um, San Marcos account. So, with the, uh, uh, Isabel has mentioned about the, why did they put the shoe? Mm -hmm. Yeah. The, yeah. The, the, this, this, the, we try to image the, uh, the humble way that was Jesus. Jesus was a poor when he was born, you know? So, this is good. Are you not sharing your screen now? Yeah, I, yeah, I would share. Okay. Um, sorry, I, I got one more video. Hold on. Okay. Uh, oh. Uh, and it's also. interesting because the Dutch do that on St. Nicholas Day. Mm -hmm. their um, shoes. The, the, yeah. the children put their shoes out and St. Nicholas leaves gifts in the shoes. Okay, mm -hmm. so this is why they come in uh, the tradition no for the... No candy house, they clean Yeah, and yeah. they, they make sure that they, they stink, you know, they put something, you know. This is why the parents say, you know, if you just think they don't get nothing, you know. <laughs> so oh. that's the best point. <laughs> so, um, so but this, this is very exciting that he's um, part of his uh, 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 imagination and ambition is to mm -hmm. uh, get. But again, in, in the Mexican culture, they now uh, uh, Christmas Day they give they give a uh, like a clothing or uh, uh, this, this mm -hmm. kind of present. Oh, but the toys they're serving for the uh, oh, okay. uh, people nice. for the other way. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. I got another another. Turn. Hola, a todos. Mi nombre. Sorry, this is it's here. Well, that's a good symbol, Miguel. So Hi, everyone. Very anything practical. This is Uciel. Oh, wow. It is so nice to be with you this morning as I share my experience with El Dia de los Reyes Magos. El Dia de los Reyes Magos, uh, since uh, growing up, has been like a second Christmas. A second Christmas because it is another day uh, where uh, children uh, will receive presents, we receive uh, another set of presents from your family or from uh, loved ones or, or your church family. Uh, not only that, uh, I grew up uh, participating with my family and going to church on January 6th uh, to be part of our worship experience and then uh, having a time to open the presents uh, in the church that I uh, used to belong to when I was very young. Uh, we will gather all the kids and all the presents will be brought forth and one of them or two or two of them will have a name and your name will be on it and then you will get a present and, and have a chance to open it up in the middle of the sanctuary. <laughs> and then after that, uh, you will go into the fellowship hall and have a time for fellowship and ha eat delicious food. But the highlight of the night in this case will be the cutting of the Rosca de Reyes. And as you know, it is like a circular looking, looking bread that uh, uh, signifies the infinite love of God that has no beginning and no end, you know, in this case. And you will cut it in pieces and everybody will get a piece and you will, you know, get a drink, uh, coffee, hot tea, hot chocolate, atole, you know, all kinds of drinks they will bring and uh, and eat it. And normally, you know, uh, little by little, you will hear somebody getting the baby Jesus, you know, the little doll, uh, that little baby doll that the bread will have inside. And if you will get the little baby doll, you will be part of the of the planning and organizing, organizing team for the next big celebration of the church community which it will happen in February, in this case, uh, for St. Valentine's. I belong to a, a Pentecostal evangelical uh, tradition, and so St. Valentine's was the next big celebration. And so if you get the baby, you will be part of that uh, organizing uh, team. And on occasion, my family will do that, and uh, because uh, my mom was uh, a very proficient cook and, and chef, and. Cook, cook all kinds of food, especially traditional from 
where we're from, from Veracruz, uh, especially she will bring on that day tamales wrap in banana leaf. That was something that everybody wanted her to bring. And she will bring that on many occasions. Uh, and so um, that's what will happen if you get the little baby. You know, if you don't get it, then you will just uh, wait until next year uh, to try again in this case, right? Um, and so uh, now as, as an adult, uh, I, you know, I, I've been, I try to celebrate Dia de los Reyes as much as I can uh, and give to my little cousins and uh, my nephews and my nieces uh, presents on El Dia de los Reyes. Uh, and try to be at church. Actually, this uh, uh, January 6th was my first time I was here at St. Mark's uh, celebrating El Dia de los Reyes uh, at the uh, Estudio Biblico, the Bible study with uh, Deacon Miguel and everyone else who is part of that Bible study. And we had an opportunity to do something very similar, uh, share on some tamales and, and uh, then cut the, uh, the Rosca de Reyes. Uh, however, this time I didn't get the baby dolls and nobody actually got the baby dolls because Deacon Miguel forgot to put the baby dolls in the bread. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> and so, so I guess uh, everybody gets a chance to plan the next big celebration. <laughs> All right. Well, have a wonderful day. Uh, it's been uh, such a blessing to share with you uh, my experience and I hope... Uh, uh, you know, uh, you continue celebrating and enjoying this special occasion. Many blessings. Wonderful. Very nice. Okay, well, one, one of the I just want to say one thing that Uciel is going to be joining our vestry. Oh, oh good. Nice. He's, nice. he's going to be uh, nominated and affirmed, hopefully, on January 23rd. I have no <laughs> doubt he'll be right. affirmed. <laughs> is he a fairly new parishioner? I'd say dos años, two a couple years. years. Couple okay. Years. Yes. Yeah. But he's getting more involved and connected. Uh, uh -huh. Yeah, it, uh, really connected in the uh, Bible study. You know, he loves it. Uh, that's great. That's great. But he's integrated in the many activities now. He was part of the celebration of Guadalupe. Mm -hmm. He was one yeah. of the, I think was the bishop. The technical stuff and light. Then you can on the bishop too. What's the thing? Yeah. Yes, that's okay. right. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, okay. so, um, Miguel, she, the woman said that, um, and then he said, say Valentine. He said that that is coming from the more uh, uh, yeah, Presbyterian, no, Presbyterian from oh. where they celebrate the, the Valentine days. So they don't celebrate. They celebrate. Okay. Because this is more Roman Catholic. Miguel, stop sharing your screen for a second. So let's sure. go back to the, the bigger group. There we go. Okay. And then we can see. Who's coming? Everybody who's with us. Hello. Hello. Zoom oh, friends, hello. how are you? Hi, Angeles. Hola. You wanna Hola, share? buenos días. You wanna share something? ¿Quieres compartir algo? Ah, uh, sí. Eh, hola, buenos días a todos. Hi, good morning, good morning, everyone. I try my bad English. I but. <laughs> I love San Marx, the people of San Marx, because all the time you understand my bad English and you are patient with us. And I love that. And I try. Um, yeah, it's, it's, I think only I can do. <laughs> okay. Eh, para cada niño mexicano, eh, yo creo que es, una de las fechas que okay. más esperamos. Porque para en nuestra cultura no celebramos tanto Santa Claus. Celebrate, um, uh, Santa Claus. Yeah. Sino los Reyes Magos. Just, uh, the Santa Reyes. Que ningún niño sabe, well, the, pero son los padres. We, the, the parents, they are the, the kings, no? que con mucho sacrificio algunas veces many many times, uh, tratan de cumplir los sueños de, de sus hijos. The the uh, en algunas ocasiones solo recibimos dulces we just get it o algún muñeco. Or small toys, a y algunos muchos dulces. 
Uh, Como sabemos, todo es de acuerdo a la economía de cada persona. Así es. Y la rosca de reyes, pues es una tradición. Que como familia nos gusta compartir. As a family, we like to share. Mm -hmm. so, uh, no todos quieren el niño Dios. No everyone wants to have the baby Jesus, a <laughs> little doll. Porque nadie quiere hacer tamales, obviamente. No, no, no <laughs> everyone wants to, to make it tamales. Right. <laughs> Entonces, a, a veces se hace la broma de decir. Yeah. Sometimes we make a joke. Uh, que la gente se lo come por no hacer tamales. Uh, we're joking that the people eating the baby doll because they don't want to eat eran más pequeños. Porque antes eran más pequeños. Oh, before they were more smaller to the, in the present time. Y como escuchaba que decía el Luciel que compartimos ahorita en Rosca en el estudio bíblico. Okay. And she get one of the baby Jesus. And he's going to show the oh, okay. the looks that. Oh. Yep. Ese es el niño Dios. <laughs> this is the baby Jesus. Really? That looks like the baby Jesus. <laughs> Lo cual nadie puede comerse, ¿verdad? <laughs> well, any, anyone can eat it, you know? <laughs> <laughs> no lo puedes ocultar. So we can hide it. Y a veces decimos entre bromas. And sometimes we said, like, uh, checking. Que son unos padres desnaturalizados porque no se quieren hacer cargo de su niño. But they are not good parents because they're not going to uh, be responsible for the <laughs> <laughs> Pero en realidad es um, porque so, es parte de nuestra cultura, ¿no? Eh, tal vez algunos no lo entiendan, so, pero some, some, some nuestra cultura es más reírnos aún en las circunstancias más difíciles. Y estoy muy orgullosa de San Marcos. Y de ustedes, gracias por siempre querer aprender de nosotros. It really enriches mm. things, I think. Realmente enriquece esto, dice David. Thank you. So thank you. I'm going to try to eat that baby. <laughs> Good luck. So you, you bring that on, Hillis, and I will try to eat it. <laughs> I don't think so. Para que se lo coma. El, el, pero pero el, el padre George también no quería rosca porque no quería el bebé. ¿Te acuerdas? Right. Usted le dijo. That, That last Thursday, he didn't want a piece of uh, a roast up because he didn't want to get a baby. Yeah, yeah. No, so, oh, no, I'm fine. But so, no, I didn't. Uh -huh. <laughs> In this moment, I didn't know about this opportunity to eat the baby. And now I learned that I could. He didn't know that he was able to eat the baby. I didn't know that I could eat the baby. <laughs> <laughs> I Creo que está muy grande para hacerlo. Y pues uh, muchas gracias por enseñarme Thank you for teaching lo que Dios Jesús nos manda. Ama a tu prójimo como a ti mismo. Y eso las personas de San Marcos es lo que me han enseñado. Uh, this is what the people of San Marcos is having to teach Los quiero. Muchas Love bendiciones. And blessing to everyone. Thank you. Gracias. 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 Gracias, Reverendo, por la traducción. Oh, perfecto. Thank you. Um, I was wondering, because I didn't get any email from you. Mm -hmm. I was esperando su video, but it was better that way. Mm -hmm. That one was better. The one on the call. Miguel, I yes. the uh, gentleman said that um, if the Rosca de Reyes represents the... Um, you know, eternal love of God. Uh -huh. But um, I thought it represented the crown with the Hoyas, also, like the jewels. Also, the, 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 yeah, many the meanings, and the, yeah. multiple meanings. Yeah. Yeah. That the, looks like the crown, the you know, the, the like a, a crown. The jewels the, the, yeah, yeah, and yeah. or a ring. Yeah, but then it's so part of the decoration ring. because this is the king's uh, representing the time. But, but the, the, one of the deepest meaning is the, the circle, this is the beginning. It's not a beginning and it's not L, but it's the alpha of the neighbor. 
and, well, and different countries have different traditions too in terms I could of say a little bit about that uh, yeah. um yeah in france cakes, uh, uh, yeah galette de bois in mm -hmm. france okay. mm -hmm. yeah. france mm -hmm. And and then and then what's interesting is that the French tradition was brought to New Orleans, but New Orleans mm -hmm. does the cake on Mardi Gras. Mardi Gras. Mm -hmm. Mardi Gras. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and and so, but it's an interesting, like worldwide, mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, well, kind of tradition. The, the, some some somebody said this tradition is starting French with the cake, or you mm -hmm. know, the cake, the cake, and uh, uh, they spread out in the mm -hmm. in the world. And we find in the, any place in the world, they got a difference uh, according to his culture, you know, mm -hmm. and the way to the celebrate and decorate that, 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 that yeah. was kind of way, so the king of cake. So um, I, I wish for some uh, image, but uh, I think uh, they got something. Yeah, I got a couple just quick here. Oh, wrong, wrong place to be. Oh, okay. well, let me just scoot over there real quick. Sure. It sounds like, you know, for, for it's a joy to celebrate like this together. The food brings us together. Mm -hmm. But you know, it, it's there's a purpose behind it. But you know, I can hear in her voice the joy of celebrating yeah. Yeah. family. Our, it's, 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 you know, really our, our former yes. parish um, did not have any really Latinos. Um, Latinos, but we had always had a huge celebration on Epiphany, mm -hmm. and we had a cake with the babies um, in it, and games for the children. It was very much um, organized yeah. around the children and children's mm -hmm. events. And it was a really fun night that brought everybody together. Today, today we're gonna have the, the one of our service. Mm -hmm. We're gonna, gonna pass with the children. Mm -hmm. uh, we're gonna copy what's gonna raise, but also we're gonna have some talks today. Oh, right. Oh, fun. Yes. So that's what we're saying. A yeah, lot of right. yeah, yeah. yeah. Hey, David, I can segue maybe your section. Yeah. Today, my dad's at my dad's church, Roman Catholic, but they're old, old school Polish Roman Catholic. Mm. It's a celebration called Opłatek, and it's just, it's the, it's literally looks like a communion wave. Mm. It's the time where they get, they buy these, and then they share it with friends mm -hmm. and family. Okay. Everybody breaks uh, off a piece. Yeah, I've seen that. Mm -hmm. yeah. sure. uh, um, Doesn't uh, sound quite as good. No. <laughs> no. Yeah. Yeah, but I think there's plenty of cake afterwards. <laughs> right, yeah. <laughs> so uh, as you know, uh, Obviously, many other countries do something like this. Just a little bit about it. This is a galette de roi. Okay. Uh, France, mm. Quebec, Luxembourg, and Belgium. Uh, it, and the Flemish-speaking Dutch call it a kirkstart. Mm. There's also a paper crown. And then whoever gets the fev, the fev is, is the figurine inside. Um, they get the paper crown. Mm. Now, you know, France is very secular. I think you probably know. But... 85% of French people eat this cake at Epiphany. Uh, hmm. <laughs> interesting how that's... Well, they're very into their pastries. Yes. Right. <laughs> uh, this particular is a really <laughs> raw. <laughs> exactly. And as Joyce pointed out, they brought that to New Orleans, and in New Orleans it becomes the king cake, not surprisingly. Oh, but it's in Mardi Gras, which yeah. is, you know. <laughs> David in um, my family lives in in I have family in Paris and we visited at that time and um, our the youngest child sits under the table and dictates who gets each slice. <laughs> I've and heard then, that. Yeah. Um, yeah. So it was oh. my little girl and and she would you know gets under yeah. the table and Aunt Sue and Uncle Patrick and Dad <laughs> and Mom get these slices. So it's very. You know, it's fair because uh -huh. she, she couldn't see who was getting up. Getting up. <laughs> That's great. Yeah, it was really cute. That's and really when, cute. I, when I had this opportunity to have found, you know, when I was yeah, on the yeah. And it was filled time. with like an almond paste. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I said it. I it's read a, that it's usually a puff pastry with frangipan, which is, yeah, frangipan mm -hmm. is, a, almond. is an almond paste. Yeah. Mm -hmm. In Germany, it's a, it's a I, I, I theoretically know German. Let's see if I can say it. Drei Königs Kuchen. Drei Kuchen. 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 And the fev, that's the thing that's put inside. It could be a bean in various cultures, but they use an almond. And the person who gets it gets the crown and is excused from chores. <laughs> <laughs> that's a very good German tale. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Even that about, does it chores. It's about the work. Yeah. 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 <laughs> and the tradition is to keep peace for those who can't be there for any reason. Oh, and mm -hmm. historically, they would give that to a needy person, but I don't think they care about the needy anymore. 
Well, they don't have any meat. I don't know. Um, these are children I haven't met, but their mother was a student of mine, Devita Maharaj. Now, uh, Devita Maharaj Guptara. She just posted this on Facebook. Um, the children have their Drykunish Kuchen or three teeth cake, which their Swiss grandma had baked. And you can see they're really enjoying the, uh, the experience there. There's nothing about Devita Maharaja Guptara that sounds Swiss. No, I think, uh, I think uh, <laughs> it's like they're from India. Yes. Right? Yeah. She is from India, but there's I think maybe it's, maybe her, it's husband, her husband's uh, family or something. Her, yeah. Someone has a Swiss grandmother in there. <laughs> so they're the little children, obviously Indian. And uh, that's kind of sweet, I think. The, uh, in Poland, uh -huh. there's a Klastro Chichkuri, I guess it's called, where they use a coin or an almond inside. And then whoever gets it is king or queen for the day. So it's more of a, oh. how would you describe that cake, Joyce? It's not really a... It almost like looks a like a bunch cake. cake. Yeah. Bunt. Bunt. <laughs> uh, for Americans of Polish descent, the lucky one has to provide the king cake for the next party the next year. Uh, in Italy, it's the Bafana cake. See, everybody's got this. Actually, the English used to have it too. Um, the fev is a large uncooked bean, and the cake is presented on a crown. There's a crown underneath the cake. Whoever gets a slice, with the bean as king or queen for the day. In Spain, mm -hmm. um, the, the Roscoe de Reyes uh, is celebrated by nearly everybody. Mm -hmm. And historically, we know they were doing that at least in the Middle Ages in the 12th century. Mm -hmm. And then from there, it traveled to Latin America. And that cake looks more similar to yeah, Rosca de Reyes, yeah. Rosca de Reyes yeah. with the And also they call it Roscon. 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 Okay, yeah. Now their cakes may have no filling or have a cream filling. So this cake that we have has some cream in it. Yeah, oh, I know. Yeah, it's I delicious. Mm -hmm. cool. I didn't get any in mine. I, I need to try some more until I get. Yes, either, I think you need to keep trying. I either trying need the baby <laughs> Jesus or the cream. A, yeah. Uh, and there's a figure of Jesus inside there. I, I just had a couple of questions here. Um, you know, I did not. I never heard of this for most. But at least the first half of my life, I know if there's anything like this. Um, we've never made one or anything, but um, I tell you, it's just not fun growing up Baptist. It really <laughs> is. It's, it's a lot well, of fun. I don't know. I was Swedish Baptist, and those Swedish women really made great cookies. Mm. That's true. <laughs> we have, but, that, we, so yeah. that was fun. Good. <laughs> yeah, Chicago fundamentalists, we didn't have that. We missed out. So uh, a part of the, this presentation, uh, what they will show, this is how the Mexican prepared the Rosca de Reyes in the back room. Oh, so, oh, wow. and, uh, and you see different places. Uh, Switzerland is pretty much to the and, Germany, uh -huh. close to the, and Spain is things like that. Uh -huh. And Quebec, it's interesting how they do. Uh -huh. I, I showed that the Mexican city, that one, they, it's in a, as you can see, in a strong tradition, and they bake now and now every year one of the longest one of the Rosco the race in the world. You see wow. that one? Wow. Mm -hmm. they, they, they feed in a uh, hundred. That is actually a circle. We just are only seeing part of the arc. Oh, yes. Oh, wow. No, oh. no, no. <laughs> like, I don't know. Yeah, this is just a so, no, so. Looks like it's a mile long. Yeah, yeah it does. Yeah. But, but, but what did they show? This is the other tradition, you know, to yeah. uh, spread out enough. Well, that's what we should do next year is do one with this <laughs> table. Yeah, we got the, the table. Whole way around. Yeah. We got yeah. the table. Yeah, we've got the right. table. Right. Yeah, but we don't have the people to eat it. Oh. Uh, <laughs> they, 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 they've been coming. Don't if worry you build about the table. <laughs> <laughs> so, so this is why the different shapes of that baby Jesus. Mm -hmm. You see that? Okay. Uh, I love the face of that guy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, what did I just bite? <laughs> So, uh, so th this I don't think we can eat it. Uh, this was the guy's funny. <laughs> so that, as you hear, uh, the tradition is to make tamales. But the people don't know, you know, besides the tradition making it in a, in a, a candelaria, that what happened already in Mexico and in in the uh, Hispanic in culture mm -hmm. to have in the Pretty candelaria cool, the, yeah. uh, a, a tamale a day. Okay. So um, there's a company, you know, the how to they integrate with that. In your culture. That's a good tradition to, to maintain. Yes. Tamales are important. 
It yeah. is. So we can see that. We know February 2nd is Groundhog Day. Also. And, uh, also, <laughs> and, and every this also makes me feel better about not every year Christmas this year. tree down. Every we year really have to February 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 second. Second. Okay. I said we wait. <laughs> it's it's well, plastic. It's like a yeah. dropping needles. So and that, something what I found very interesting for me too, you know, is that I, I mentioned uh, how the Rosca the Reyes is spread out and adapted in, in, in all culture. So this is what happened in Mexico in the present time. Not everywhere, I guess. That's interesting. How they prepare the rosca de rey as a, with tacos. I love hey, that. I go. love the taco yeah. one. That's, That's so cool. Me the too. Middle one, the middle one is made with tamales. Uh huh. Oh, wait, and are there baby Jesuses in there? Uh, yeah, sure, yeah. yeah. Kill. That's the one that kind of needs somewhere there. But you see, that's so delicious. I mean, I can't get it coming. Oh, you know, that's that's nice. wow. I love that. So, is this but something new? It's something new. It was something new for me, maybe for Ankara too, you know? I've never seen that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it is. But uh, yeah, I love. That. <laughs> All right. I know. I think I that's want to do great. the taco one. Yeah, that's exactly. I'm going to that. This is an example of how did they adapt to the culture, mm -hmm. how did they change through the time. You know, yeah. but the, the mean is still there. The mm -hmm. sense of the, the mean is there. So um, the find the baby Jason is uh, I say this a blessing. It's not a, a punish. You know. <laughs> <laughs> so and, and this is what we're looking for. This is the the Westman. They are uh, they were seekers, you know, looking for uh -huh. maybe and Jesus, and uh, we are uh, yeah. we're becoming uh, the, uh, a seekers too, you know, yeah. baby Jesus. So if you find it, feel blessing, and, uh, and then you can, and you chew hard. <laughs> I'm with tamales. So. Well, very lightly, either way. <laughs> yes, yeah, so I think that's the um. This is the end of the presentation. Yeah, that's great. Thanks. So, but this is time maybe for uh, any questions or something you want to. But I think it was pretty, pretty fun and interesting to, to, so, to know. Well, this is probably totally off the subject, but we watched The Amazing Race. Have you, any of you mm -hmm. ever watched The Amazing Race? Mm -hmm. One year they were in New Orleans on Mardi Gras. And what they did is they took them to a bakery and they had to tear through all these cakes oh, no. to find the baby. <laughs> oh, no. And they only had like one in like stacks mm -hmm. and stacks mm -hmm. of cakes. And oh, so they're like going oh. through all these cakes <laughs> trying to find It's sort of baby. distressing to see those <laughs> yeah, cakes. Yeah, yeah. I know, you just see all these cakes going. <laughs> when <laughs> when, yeah, my, kids yeah, were, when my kids were young, they went to um, Lincoln um, for school and they had to do a presentation about Christmas traditions in other countries, and they chose France. So mm -hmm. we made the uh, the Le Devois with the mm -hmm. puff pastry mm -hmm. and the almond paste, and we had um, the fev from France, mm -hmm. a little ceramic, was actually a little ceramic windmill. Yeah. So the girls, my children and I baked this thing the night before, and I was supposed, the plan was that I would leave work and bring it to their show and tell for this presentation. And my house was, I worked at the park district and my house is just right there. So I went home at lunch to get this thing. And the tart pan that I made it in was on the floor. Uh oh, the two the dogs, dogs yeah. were licking their chops yeah. and the ceramic charm was nowhere to be found. Yeah, they, they, oh. so, they probably did, turned you, up did you find it a few days later? No, <laughs> didn't look for it. Yeah. yeah, it was a winter yeah. So Somebody I, is going to find it. I just not, ran to the grocery the store. Place. That would be an interesting way to hold the board. ran to the grocery store and got like an apple pie. I mean, nothing. Yeah. Yeah. They were yeah. mixed yeah. in. Oh. Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. And you know, dog. purchase the pastry, yeah, well, but the, the dog, it's the dog ate my project. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> David once was ready to paper and our dog jumped up and ate a corner of it. <laughs> and so he wrote so he wrote on the paper, I'm Start sorry, bed. my dog my ate your, your whole <laughs> <dog. laughs> <laughs> day. I saw in the in one of the Mexican bakeries in was Chicago, the special order. It wasn't a rose color like this. But decorate with the fresh fruit mm. and, the, and the round and the center mm -hmm. too. That was beautiful. It was mm -hmm. not, it was, it was still expensive, but there was a mm -hmm. new point. Mm -hmm. Well, those are expensive. Isn't it? Well, the, the great bacon was like yes. $65 or no, no, well, because of the last part, that's just yeah. so expensive. Yeah. So, um, where did you get these? <laughs> uh, it was in Bachicao. Mm -hmm. we and uh, we're going to have more today from uh, Rosita too. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. And uh, so we're going to be able to try different, two different kinds of stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, one of the, 
going back to the broader three kings ideas, one of the things I found fascinating is it's the connection with these magi, either from you know, being Gentile, magicians, people of different religions. It's kind of like that is a that's that's one point in Christianity that is like opening itself up to other religions because these guys didn't convert, quote unquote, whether it was to Hello. you know hey guys. becoming Hebrews or joining the, the, the Christian sect later on. Like there's none of that. They just they stayed who they were. <laughs> So that's kind of cool. Well, and the tradition is that they did convert to their, that they propagated uh, the gospel, but who knows what. Right. Mm -hmm. But there's not much, con yeah, like there's not much content. Yeah. content to it. Because they came, worshiped him, and split. Yeah. 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 So, um, well, especially that, growing up being very insular, like mm -hmm. even to other Christians, mm -hmm. no other Christian tradition like has the truth like we do. Oh yeah, it just cut. It's and especially anything to do with magic or astrology, like right. we couldn't, right. we couldn't mm -hmm. read Harry Potter. We couldn't. One of, yeah. Uh, yeah. one of the means that I really love that I hear is the one of the represent of the gifts of the of the magic, the, uh, the wise man of the magic, like the gold. Some people say it represents the, the uh, love. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And also represent uh, the uh, the entire world, you know, and uh, how it can be a unit, you know, for something that we right? Mm -hmm. And uh, the mirror, the sense, you know, you know the incense. I mean, it's having the way to purify, you know, you know, if we still use the incense today. Right, right, way. exactly. Just yeah. an opportunity. That, yes. And, and the mirror, the sense, we are anointing with that, you know, uh, uh, making it uh, better, you know, or, or different. Yeah, isn't that put in, in oil, uh, holy oil, or? Mm -hmm. I read that it was. I don't know if we do that. You know, um, eucalyptus. We have eucalyptus as yes. part of it, but myrrh is more for the um, and, uh, the dead. That's what the I thought. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it, it, it goes with the prophets, of course, who are, are killed um, for, for being yeah. prophets. And so Jesus is recognized as both a king, a priest, and a prophet with those three gifts. Mm -hmm. I was going to say, like, is Jim Gratolution still there? Graham, Jim, you grew up in the Roman church. Did you celebrate Epiphany? You're on mute. Yeah. My family had kind of a special link to Epiphany because my folks were married on January 6th Epiphany. So yeah, we celebrated, we celebrated it every year, but Epiphany was always a big thing in the Catholic church. So what, uh, what would that mean in terms of I mean, obviously, it was your parents' anniversary, but was to, there... Um... To me, I always kind of linked it with the Holy Spirit coming in, so I probably confused it with another uh, <laughs> ecclesiastical <laughs> event. But I, I guess the real purpose is it's the, the welcoming of Jesus into, into humanhood. In my Catholic Church, we would add the three kings at epiphany into mm. the crush okay. ah, so the crush yeah. would be left off all that mm. time and then at epiphany they would put they the, would come the, they would put the fingers mm -hmm. of the king in. did you also put the baby jesus in on new year's eve <laughs> on christmas eve on christmas yeah. Christmas, eve. <laughs> yeah. christmas eve yes <laughs> yeah the choir in the back oh okay <laughs> All right, I'm going to uh, help get ready for the 10 o'clock service. This can go on a little bit. I know that Laura might have to end the Zoom, right? I do, and I need to remind you that the the soundboard up in the up in the loft has three things that need to be doing, and Lynn has texted you about what, what those three things are. Oh, I think it's on. I, I tested it. It was working. Okay. Well, do me a favor and have somebody run up and say something into it so I know it's working for me. I, I did check it earlier. It was working. Well, it's working for you, but is it working for me? I could hear it throughout the whole. You can hear it, but can I? Because I can hear things that you can't. Oh, okay. Well, I know that you are special. I am yeah. so special. <laughs> so, so special. It's so good that you acknowledge the truth. Yeah, right. yeah. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, my Thank dad. You.